All right, so you're driving over to a friend's house and you just got off of school and you're super stoked to hang out with a friend. Now you get to your friend's house and you happen to have your iPod or your iPhone on your lap. Let's, let's go with the iPhone. And uh, you get to his house and you park there and you open the door and you're like, oh, I'm stoked to see my buddy. We're going to have a good time, check out some chicks, whatever you guys are going to do. And you open the door and you step outside and boom, you drop your cell phone. And you're like, oh shit. And you go to pick it up, and screen is just totally busted. Phone is is just down the drain. It's it's smoked. And uh, you you paid five hundred dollars for that phone, or whatever uh, an iPhone costs. You didn't get it with a contract deal. You paid full price for that phone. And at that very moment, you you have a decision to make. At that moment, you can decide. All right, I can get pissed off, or I can I can move on from this. So, you know, with that said, guys, as always, you know my name is Excellent Flex, and today we're going to learn a little bit about how to just stay calm in, in bad situations, because you want to be that guy where some, some shit goes down in his life, something happens, and just don't phase you, you know what I'm saying? Just doesn't phase you, because you're cool like that, you're fresh, you just, you stay calm, baby, it's, it's all good in the hood, you know? And today, we're going to learn about that. So you drop your phone, right? And 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 you're you're like, oh crap! I, I paid five, six hundred dollars for this thing. I mean, this sucks. Don't get me wrong, that sucks, right? But the second you you pick your phone up and you and you know, all right, man, it's <laughs> no matter what, my phone's my phone's fucked. Sorry for the language. I just I'm just I'm just flowing with it right now. My phone's screwed right now. And okay, so you can sit there and, and just for like a second, just for a second, just think about it. The first thing you can do in any in any tough situation in your life, analyze the situation, all right? Think about it. Just look at it. So you're sitting there. You're looking at this phone, and you're like, okay, so I can get pissed off. I, I can get totally pissed, and this cell phone can ruin my entire day. You know, I can let some stupid, uh, tangible object destroy my day, make me, uh, it'll put me in a bad mood. I can I can let that happen. Or... You know what? I can be a man or I can be a woman and I can realize that, you know what? I'm not going to let some stupid iPod affect how I feel and affect how the rest of my day goes. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it sucks balls that, uh, I, you know, you broke this $600 phone and you paid $600 for it. Don't get me wrong. That sucks either way. But the mindset of understanding that, all right, man, I can sit here and I can get pissed or I can just go on throughout my day and I can have a balling ass day either way. Um, you know, you analyze the situation. Either way, your phone is going to be broken. All right. From that point onward, there's nothing you can do but buy another phone. You know, getting mad about it and, and just like bottling up that anger and just feeding on it all day, that's not going to get you anywhere. So if you just look and this, you know, remember, this is just an example you're gonna to have to apply these steps to other things and they might not work for everything but just you know follow the example um, so you're looking at your phone you know you make the decision alright dog I'm not gonna get pissed you know my phone's broken I'm out 600 bucks what can I do there's there's nothing I can do I'm gonna to have to buy a new phone if I want a new phone that's just that man that's that's the reality of it and getting super pissed off and sitting here and pouting about it all day I know it might not seem like like something that most people would do but most people you know I would probably do it too man you you drop a six hundred dollar phone man you're gonna be pissed but just think about it for a second just like I said there's nothing you can do about it move on analyze the situation and move on as a matter of fact what you can do from that next point is you can look at it from a totally different perspective instead of looking at it from a negative perspective try to just totally flip the coin on yourself right and this is so you can keep it calm Instead of going, ah, oh, shit, I'm out 600 bucks. Damn it, I gotta go out and buy a new phone. This is crap. This is garbage. You can sit there and go, oh, check it, fool. This, this sucks, but this sucks. But you know, now I get to go buy the new iPhone. Now I'm gonna have a brand new phone. It's gonna be trick, dog. You know, my phone before was a year old, but now I'm gonna be balling it up with the newest piece of hardware. I get to go out and buy a new phone. It, yeah, at least I get a nice shiny new iPod. It's cool, dog. You know. I, I basically traded my old one in for a new one. And even if you had a brand new iPhone, you know, I just called it an iPhone. <laughs> even if you have a brand new iPhone, you know, you can always look at it and go, all right, man, at least I go out and get to buy a new one. My screen's going to be perfectly perfect. 
perfectly perfect there's another good use of words <laughs> but y y you get that you get a new phone out of it that's cool right everybody likes having a new phone I know you gotta pay for it again but hell you get a new phone out of it uh, you know my point is that I don't know if that was the best example but uh, you know if you want to stay calm you know the first thing you gotta do is you gotta analyze the situation and look at it and make any kind of assumptions or conclude whatever you know your options or your outcomes are gonna be and the next thing you should do is just move on you know don't sit there and dwell on it just just move on have a good day don't let something like a cell phone affect your day because you have more control of yourself like that you're calm you're fresh you're that you're that person that just doesn't get affected by stuff like that and you might not be that person right now I'm not that person right now but it doesn't mean that we can't uh, work on becoming that person because I mean wouldn't that be dope as hell if you're just totally unfazed by stuff I mean you know you you have a you have a date with a girl and she blows you off and instead of getting all depressed about yourself and getting all sad oh she doesn't like me blah 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 you're like okay whatever dog I'm gonna go hang out with some friends next chick I take out on a date maybe she won't blow me off maybe she will who cares some chick blowing me off doesn't doesn't manipulate how I feel doesn't change how I feel doesn't change my my outlook of my day you know what I'm having a fresh day no matter what cuz I decide when I'm having a fresh day that's my point that I'm trying to get across and and uh, you know as long as you learn from the situation each time you come across something like that you you'll get better and better until you're just calm like a monk in a in a in a Japanese river and I don't know if that made any lyrical sense that I, I actually probably thought of that more anyways I'm gonna I'm kinda veering off topic right now but guys I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video as you can tell we got some Skyrim gameplay up here and uh, I actually haven't even I'm you know I don't I don't talk over the gameplays I don't know if you guys know, guys know that but um, so I'm gonna have to see if I can find a clip that works with this but hopefully we can we can find something that works I say we as in I I don't as you can tell I'm kinda getting off topic but uh, anyways I want you guys to know I, I said I was a little um, bad at getting to the topics because I've been busy lately so if you guys have or have not realized uh, I've went on the on my most recent video and I responded to every single comment uh, that had been posted uh, up to last night and uh, I want you guys to know I do that because I really appreciate your time and I, and I love every single one of you guys it means a lot to me when you leave a comment on my video whenever you do stuff I really appreciate it so I went in there and I responded to everybody because I love you guys <laughs> anyways I'm keeping you guys too long uh, again, thank you so much for spending some time on this video, and uh, if you have any things you'd like me to talk about, go ahead and leave it in the comments section. If you have any constructive criticism, don't be, don't be afraid to leave it, because I know uh, I'm not perfect, so it's always good to sharpen up your skills. Anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peace out. You guys have an awesome day, and I will talk to you guys later on this week. As always, stay fly and stay fresh. Peace.